right, Haley was standing in front of the yellow sunflowers, but we still have code orange air quality today because of the smoky haze from our friends up in Canada. You know, we love it when they send us some cool weather uh, every once in a while. I don't know if we love this, but it's 87 degrees as we look live over at Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill, where in a little more than 24 hours, they will be playing soccer. So a little different look to the field tomorrow. We do have the chance of storms returning tomorrow. It looks like those will be in the afternoon, so kickoff at 7.30 tomorrow for the soccer game, Chelsea and Wrexham. So the storm's possible earlier in the day. Hopefully they'll be out of here later in the day. We'll have to keep an eye on radar together tomorrow, but it will still be hazy, warm, and muggy with game time temperatures in the 80s. Outside right now, it's not in the 80s. Our heat index values are well into the 90s across town. So hopefully you're taking it easy out there today. It is going to get hotter later this week. Tonight, we're going to keep things generally dry. I won't be able to say that the next couple of days, though. Our temperature's still around 80 at 8. We fall down to 82 at 10, dry overnight and muggy as our temperatures will only get down to 73 on Wednesday morning. So let's walk through the day tomorrow, hour by hour. I'll start it off in the morning. And here's something that's a little different. I know we had it happen last week, but some of us could have some morning showers tomorrow. This is at 7 a.m. Very few specks of green on the radar, but don't be surprised if there's a couple showers. Most of the morning will be dry. We get to lunchtime. Notice a little bit more rain showing up. So what's going to happen is this little bit of energy, this little bit of moisture as it moves across the state from west to east, it's going to hit our warm and humid atmosphere and kind of blossom. And you can see that more scattered showers and storms developing. More of us will get rain, more widespread. This is at 2 o'clock. Moving from west to east along I-95 corridor, closer to 4 and 5 o'clock. So if this timing holds, and I'll go all the way till about 7, 8 o'clock, you can see most of the storms have cleared our area. We are dry at 8 o'clock tomorrow. That's 24 hours out. You know, like I do, that these storms could slow down or speed up, be a little farther north and south or west. So right now it's looking like good news, like we could have a dry evening tomorrow night for the soccer game. But... We'll play it by ear and keep an eye on radar tomorrow. When those storms come through in the afternoon Wednesday, we could see some severe weather. We are right now under a marginal risk of severe weather. That's a level one on our one to five scale. Heavy rain, thunder and lightning, yes. But severe possibilities include damaging wind gusts and large hail. That's tomorrow. Look what happens on Thursday. Thursday will be interesting because you can see just in our little small, small part of the world, we've got people who are not included in the severe weather outlook. We've got a level one and a level two. So this is for Thursday. So it looks like the storms could be a little more intense on Thursday. We'll see how this shifts around in the next couple of days. But we're kind of taking the night off from watching radar because there's nothing on it. But there will be storms popping up the next couple of days. We've got the rain chances at 30% Wednesday and Thursday, as highs will stay around 90. 20% chance of storms Friday, and then look at our temperatures Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the upper 80s, so not as hot, but I'm not ready to call it cool. And then your exclusive 10-day forecast, guys, we will see temperatures back into the low 90s all of next week.